We're in today with the Intel Pentium G3240. This is an LGA1150 CPU with two cores and two threads. Today we're going to focus on the Intel HD side of the CPU and we're going to use that uh, integrated uh, graphics that is from 2013. It's got 10 shaders, DDR3, 128 bits bus width and DirectX 11 support. This uh, Intel HD is running with 350 megahertz on the core clock and 667 megahertz on the memory clock. We're going to see how this uh, CPU, I mean this Intel HD from the CPU it's holding in a couple of games because I want to use uh, this uh, computer in the future to test other CPUs. So let's jump in a couple of games and see how this uh, system is holding. Let's start with Fortnite because uh, this is the last game that I play with the CPU. I actually played with the Intel HD from the CPU in Fortnite last time and it was a horrible experience. I remember because I had uh, 4 gig of uh, system RAM. Now I got 9.9 .9 gig of system RAM used and I have uh, 16 on total. So I will say today's experience is totally different, but uh, it doesn't matter because uh, uh, it still lags, you know, the GPU and uh, I had uh, to change a lot of things in order to get 40 FPS on average. Sometimes it's uh, 35, sometimes it's 50, depending. If you look in the, the sky, I got like 60 FPS, into the ground, 60 FPS. I just want to put my head like this all the time. <laughs> in order to play Fortnite. So on the desktop resolution, I put uh, 1024 and in the game, I came here and I put uh, Windows Borderless in order to force the game to take the resolution from my desktop, yes? All right, so after that, I went into the settings and I put it on 35% uh, render scale. Every little detail, it's on low details. Look at it, it looks kind of horrible. You can't uh, complain about it, you know? It, this is the resolution to get 40 FPS, but it works on Intel HD, you understand? This is a very low-end CPU, a Pentium, you know? This is, this is used to watch uh, YouTube videos and uh, check your emails and stuff like that. This is not for gaming, you know? But in this situation, look at this. I got uh, 51 degrees on the CPU, 70, 80% load on the CPU, um, 3000 megahertz on the core, so it's using the, the whole CPU, and 31 watts consumption from the CPU with 10 gig of system RAM. So that was the problem last time I played uh, this uh, game with the CPU. I didn't have enough uh, system RAM in order to get better FPS. But in 4 light, apparently with 1024 on lowest details, it's working with 70, 80 FPS. This is the only game that managed to come close to look normal and actually work, seriously. I'm not gonna lie, it's uh, kind of interesting to see this system working like this overall. On the CPU side, I got like 55 degrees on the CPU, 80%, 90% load on the CPU. On the GPU side, 99% load and nearly 900 megabytes of VRAM utilized. Overall, uh, it's a, a doable performance here with 1024 in this game. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, I think this is one of those games that actually works okay in this uh, situation. Look at this, I got playable FPS on, on overall. But in GTA 5, on 800 by 600, you get 20 FPS. <laughs> this is story mode, so can't complain here that it's not working with this. I'm in a car with this graphics card, and I think this is not the right video card for GTA 5 uh, uh, on uh, story mode. Seriously, look at this. I'm not joking, it's uh, one of those uh, situations in which you have to activate uh, render scale. I think render scale it's on 100% and uh, I think that if you manage to put, uh, how should I say, lower render scale, you will get uh, more uh, FPS. But at the same time, I just wanted to show you how this uh, game looks because uh, if <laughs> you definitely think this is the right game for you, then uh, you're mistaken, seriously. But if you want to play World of Tanks with uh, this uh, video card from this uh, Intel Pentium CPU, you will get the opportunity to play on 1024 with lowest details. Yeah, this is minimal settings. 60 FPS with V-Sync. This is a very big problem because if I keep it unlocked, that amount of excess, uh, how should I say, FPS, it will glitch, it starts moving too fast and it starts glitching the screen. I tried without uh, V-Sync and everything was like, this is what happens. If I turn off V-Sync, look at this. I got like 70 FPS, 12 MS, 
good good FPS, you know, but the performance is good, you know. I'm I'm not joking. You know, 60 FPS is okay. I'll take 60 FPS because the overall performance, then it will be even better. I had it one time and it was uh, very hard on the games. It barely played anything on uh, on the CPU with this Intel HD. And I wanted overall to see how it's working now. You know, I uh, installed 16 gig of system RAM in this computer and uh, uh, I want to see if overall performance with this Intel HD, considering how many AGP video cards I tested, how many old video cards I test lately. I said, you know what, this will, this is going to be a very interesting thing, you know. So seeing this performance, it's uh, very interesting, you know. It's very interesting to see this DirectX 11 uh, Intel HD running like this. That's it. But in Crossout, apparently, I'm getting uh, 30 FPS. Let me see what do we got here. Do I have a sync off? V-Sync is off. Hmm. This is not great. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. 33 FPS, 30 MS. Got like 750 megabytes of VRAM. This is 30% render scale with 1024. It looks potato, but uh, yeah. You, you want to play games, you know? You want to play online games with this computer. Yeah, you have to suffer with this. Seriously, look at this. Can't even control it. Overall, experience is bad. My eyes are bleeding. I don't even know why I'm playing this game like this. Two people left. Still didn't manage to shoot somebody because it's so horrible looking. I did an assist, yes. I'd shoot one bullet. But in Modern Warfare 3, apparently, I got 90 FPS on low details. This is the right game, apparently, for this Intel HD. Look at this. No, Mata. And the CPU is 71%, 70% loaded. Not bad for this Intel HD. Damn, I'm here with this uh, computer here. To try to understand this game. Try to engage uh, with the people here and have some fun because there's not a lot of games that I can play on this, seriously. But uh, trying to play Modern Warfare 3 with the Intel HD that is incorporated with the iGPU, it's kind of kind of cool, you know, to see. The CPU is doing the job. The Intel HD is doing the job. Oh, look at that. I'm actually surprised the... Intel HD managed to hold it. 70% load and uh, 300 megabytes of VRAM used. I mean, the game is doing a fantastic job, seriously, I'm not gonna lie. But in Paladins on 1024, apparently we're getting 90 FPS on average. Look at this. I got a uh, nice uh, frame time. Actually, this is a good number, not gonna lie. Yeah, boy, I'm playing Paladins with this video card. Intel HD, apparently, it's not that bad if you know how to pick up the games. It's working on Intel HD with the CPU maxed, maxed out, apparently, on 100%. Not gonna lie, it's not the greatest experience, you know, with uh, an Intel CPU like this, you know. And uh, having this uh, iGPU running uh, a couple of games is just freaking awesome. The GPU is 70-80% loaded. So I'm not going to say it's a good good experience, you know, but on 1024, it's working. So this is the only thing that matters. 177 megabytes of VRAM utilized from the G iGPU. That means it's uh, holding somehow, you know. But if you want to play the old Counter-Strike, you can actually play it on this computer. Look at this. 60 FPS with the smoke, 70% load on the GPU, 250 megabytes of VRAM used, 40-50% load on the CPU. So there is a chance you can actually play this old OG Counter-Strike with this uh, CPU, with this Intel HD. I will say overall, this is a great experience uh, if you want to have a couple of games that are actually working on this computer. I mean, with this Intel HD, this is a Pentium CPU. This is not at least an i7 where the CPU can actually do a lot of uh, work in this case. But if you want to go a little uh, better, I think Fallout New Vegas is going to run really nice on this uh, configuration. Look at this. And I enable uh, medium details and uh, I got 60 FPS. Why medium details? Because if I put higher details, apparently the game blocks. I have to restart the whole computer, but it's working. If uh, if you want, uh, you can put um, uh, five by four or something, and you can put uh, ten twenty four. But you have to adjust the scaling in order to fit it on your screen. But in this case, you can actually see eighty ninety percent load on the core of the GPU. 340 megabytes nearly of uh, VRAM used, and the the FPS is constant and I like it. 16 MS Fallout. It's a great game to play on this uh, system. I'm, I'm not complaining because uh, uh, I'm guessing if you put it on low details, 
you can increase the resolution. If you are interested in a bigger resolution, you know, if you're interested in 1080p, I think lowering the whole quality, it will be advantageous. But in Galaxy on Fire, apparently on uh, 1024 with maximum details, we're getting 60 FPS with 74% load on this uh, Intel HD. It's using 320 megabytes of VRAM, uh, nearly 4 gig of system RAM, and uh, yeah, it's doing a fantastic job. Seriously, look at this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, look at this. Oh, it looks so good with 1024 with maximum details. This is why I like this uh, idea with low resolution, much better to have uh, maximum details. This is kind of cool to see this uh, performance from this uh, Intel HD. I'm actually surprised the CPU like this is only utilizing 20 watts from this uh, performance with Intel HD. I'm actually surprised how this Intel CPU is working, seriously. It's very calming to play the, a game like this that is not very stressful, seriously. When you go on in space, you do missions, you're exploring, and it's kind of cool to see this type of game working on uh, an old machine like this. If you can manage to pull it off with an Intel HD from an Intel Pentium like this, I think you're the winner. If you manage to find this CPU very cheap, you know that uh, there is an option for this uh, type of hardware. There's a couple of games that you can put on this type of computer and it will run really nice. My suggestion today was that uh, if what doesn't matter what game you try 1024 it will be your best friend if you want to put uh, some newer games on low resolution you put the desktop resolution and you use borderless that was my secret today i think this uh, cpu with this intel hd it's a very good uh, choice for some retro games seriously i'm very surprised how it's working with uh, this uh, amount of performance you know seeing uh, fallout uh, uh, how it's working, seeing uh, Galaxy on Fire, how it's working, it gives me a nice hint that it will work really nice with older games. The more you set up, the more you arrange, the more you recover, the more you repair, you get better with this. And uh, every day I challenge myself to find games for a specific hardware, I keep getting better on uh, uh, on finding the right settings and the right combination then i can show you and recommend you if you manage to find this uh, intel pentium entertaining with this intel hd make sure you offer me a like <laughs> and if you have any suggestion for this cpu or for this intel hd make sure you leave a comment and i will see you very soon